Yo, what's up YouTube, it's your boy that's Sneaker Guy, in today's video I'm going to be bringing you my entire sneaker collection So, let me just give you guys a sneak peek There was a sneak peek, now let's get into the video Alright guys, so here it is, I'm going to start from Nike to Jordan, then to Adidas, so let's start I am going to start with my beater, so here it is, we got the LeBron 10 Sprite These, The shoe is super beat guys, as you guys can see it's ripping right here I have took this shoe to hell and back. Then we got a pair of Rochers. This, the last time I wore this shoe was in seventh grade and I'm going to be a junior. So yeah, look, you even got like holes and everything right here. No traction whatsoever. All right guys, now we're gonna get into, all right guys, now we're gonna get into Nike basketball. As you can see, this is the shoe that started off for me. This is the LeBron 10 Black History Month. This was started sneaker collecting for me. I had a buddy of mine that told me to pick this up back in 6th grade, and if it wasn't him, I probably wouldn't know nothing about sneakers. Then we got the LeBron 10 Easter, another super sick colorway of the LeBron 10. Super, this shoe is super slept on. I kept it, I wore it a bunch of times, but I've always kept it in good condition for the memories. Then we got the LeBron 11 King's Pride, super, super sick shoe. I remember I got this on release day and I was bragging it heavy on my friends, but... Sadly, these shoes don't even fit me no more. Now, these are the shoes that I, I ball in. is the Hyper Quickness 3. Um, it's a pretty good basketball shoe. I'll probably do a review on it in the, in the near future, but as of right now, I'm still testing it. Then we got the Foam Posit Pro Asteroid. This is probably the most worn shoe in my collection. I wear this at least three times out of the week, three days out of the week. And yeah, I always keep it in good condition because I really like this shoe. One of my favorites for sure. Then you got the Thermal Foams. These are another six colorway of the shoe. Really, another one I kept in really good condition because I really like it a lot. You got the KD7 Calm Before the Storm. I remember when I first saw this shoe, I fell in love with it and I had to have it. This was actually the last size they had in stock. So yeah, KD7 Calm Before the Storm. You got the KD7 Longhorns. Super sick shoe. The quality is really nice. You can actually feel the fur. And yeah, overall, sick shoe. Then you got the Kobe 10 opening night. I don't really have that much to say about this shoe other than it's good for basketball. Then you got the LeBron 12 What the? Crazy, crazy shoe. Um, very unique. You're going to have to pull out the right outfit to wear these. And yeah, LeBron 12 What the? The LeBron Soldier 10s. This is a really sick shoe. Um, I love the ankle support. And um, I got this colorway because, you know, can never go wrong with camel. Then you got the Flyknit Racer. Super light shoe. Very comfortable. Can never go wrong with the pair. Then you got the multicolors. I love this pink, it really pops. Yeah, multicolor flying eraser. And you got the Air Force One High Flax. This is actually one of the very few shoes I have that's dead stock. I have to wear this really soon. Then I have the Supreme Air Maxes. Um, I've worn this shoe a, a bunch of times. It doesn't even look like it, but I've worn it. Love this shoe a lot. Then you got the Vapor Max. Um, this shoe in particular, this colorway has shot up a lot in prices. And um, this shoe is a shoe you have to break in to understand its true comfort. So yeah, Nike Vapor Max. Here you have a pair of Flyknit trainers in the Oreo colorway. This shoe is really popular because Kanye West wore it. Um, that's my favorite rapper. That's why you're gonna see a lot of Yeezys in this video. And I heard that the, what you call it, that the white colorway is dropping in a few weeks. So I'll try and pick those up. All right guys, we're gonna get into my Jordan part of the collection. Next up, you got the Jordan 11 Concord. I have worn this shoe a lot. It's getting really, really yellow. Classic shoe, man. Hopefully they re-release the highs. I'll be definitely copying those. Next up, you got the Jordan 11 Georgetown. These look a lot, lot like the Jordan Concords, but it's not. You got a gray upper with a navy patent leather. Super sick shoe. Next up, you got the Jordan 4 White Cement. Another one of those shoes that I keep dead stock. I just really want this shoe to be nice and crispy while everybody has their pair dirty. I get a nice fresh pair that's stuck. Got that Nike Air right there. Then you got a pair of True Blue 3s. This is the Black Friday release. Another super sick shoe. You even got the tag on it. I have worn this shoe about twice. Um, I just like putting the tags on it because it looks cool to me. So yeah, classic shoe. Next up we got the Jordan 1 UNCs. What a slept on shoe, man. I might even double up on this shoe. This shoe is super sick. I have worn this shoe one time. Again, I like to keep it on lace because I like the way it looks when it comes from the factory. Next up, you got the Jordan 1 Royal. This is not the 2017 release. I don't like the 2017 release. This one is way better and it looks sicker in my opinion. So yeah, Jordan Royal. Next up, we got my only pair of Vans, which is the Vans Slip-On Checkerboard Cream. Next up, you got my only designer shoe, which is a pair of Chelsea boots from Banana Republic. The quality on this shoe is really, really good. 
better than most of them. I wouldn't compare it to Bottega Veneta or Comet Products, but it's still pretty good quality. Next up, you got my only pair of Under Armour, which is the Curry One Gold Medal. Now we're getting into the Adidas. First up, we got a pair of Stan Smith. This is just a classic green colorway. Classic, classic shoe. You can never go wrong with this shoe. This shoe is like an Air Force One. This matches with anything, and you can wear this with almost anything. Next up, you got a pair of Alpha Bounce. This is the Aramis colorway. Slip, super, super slept on shoe. This shoe is super sick and super comfortable. Do not sleep on the Alpha Bounce and do not sleep on this colorway. Next up, you got a pair of NMDR1. This is the wool colorway or the wool material. Uh, super sick shoe. This is my first ever NMD, so at the time I was trying them out. Super comfortable. I was super satisfied. Super affordable. And yeah, get them while you can because the PK versions are now available. I remember back then, none of the PK versions were available, so get them while you can. NMDR1 wool. Next up, you got a pair of NMDR2s. This is the olive colorway. Super, super comfortable. This is a big upgrade from the PKR1s. As you guys can see, they took away the, the pods and they put one giant one here. You could kind of feel this one right here when you, right here in your, in like around your heel. But it's super, it's definitely an upgrade. Super comfortable, super sick. Next, you got the tricolor PK NMDR1. Super sick shoe. This is a woman's shoe, but I don't care. The colors on these are super awesome. Next, you got the black tricolor NMDs. This is definitely a grail. I love this shoe. I could wear this shoe any time of the day. This shoe is super sick. Next up, we got the Adidas Ultra Boost. This is the solar red colorway 2.0. This was my first ever Ultra Boost. I really, really love this colorway. This is probably one of my favorites, definitely in the top five in my collection. You can never go wrong with this black with red peppered in, sprinkled in. And the 2.0 pattern on this shoe is really crazy. You got the Silver Metal Ultra Boost. This is another super sick shoe. The prices of this has shot up instantly. I'm super glad I was able to get this on release day. I prefer these over the gold because of the details in the toe box. Next, you got my only uncaged Ultra Boost. This is the red uncaged. Uh, there's really not that much of a difference between uncaged and caged. I just like this because I find the sock color really, really comfortable. And um, I like the designs you could do with the laces because they have extra lace holes. So yeah, definitely going to be getting more. Then you got this triple black ultra boost. Well, it's not really triple black. It's black with white peppered in. Then you got the gray torsion. When I said white, no, my bad. It's gray peppered in. So yeah, I really like this ultra boost because of the black boost. You don't have to worry about getting yellow or nothing. And with the white ultra boost, you got the white 1.0, the white 2.0, and the white 3.0. So I have the complete set of the caged whites. And my favorite one probably has to be the 1.0. I'm going to give you the order. The 1.0 whites. Love the arrow toe box pattern then I like the 3.0s better because of the frosted transparent cage and the and how stretchy the prime knit is and then the 2.0 I really like the 2.0 because of the gradient then you got the multicolor 3.0 I actually got this shoe a whole month early I will link I actually made a video of it I will link it down below in the description so yeah Multicolor 3.0. You got the support 9317. A lot of people say this shoe is more comfortable than Ultra Boost. I kind of agree. I haven't really worn it that much to state that opinion. And um, yeah, I actually got these from Go. I'll actually link that video down in the description as well. Now these are the last three sneakers I have. This is probably the most prized in my collection, so let me show you. You got a pair of Pirate Black Yeezy 350s. I love this shoe. It matches with anything. This was my first ever Yeezy. Really glad I got it. Then you got the first ever Yeezy I got for retail from the Confirmed app, which is the Beluga. This is a grail. This is probably one of my favorite shoes in my collection. I could wear this any time of the day, any time of the week. I, this is my go-to shoe, my favorite shoe in my entire collection. And to finish off this collection, I got the Cream Whites, which are dead stuck. I actually made a video, me picking these up from the Confirmed app. I will also link that down in the description. So yeah, Cream Whites. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video that concludes my sneaker collection. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. That's Sneaker Get My Ace Yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I can talk shit because nigga, we've been doing this shit.